Yeah, hey, I'm looking for a new guitar pickup for my guitar. And uh, I was wondering if you have something. I'm looking to sound more like Slash, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Van Halen, uh, David Gilmore, Jimmy Page, Robin Ford, Nickelback. Yeah, what I'm looking for is uh, like an overwound uh, strap pickup, something overwound. How many K is that? Well, I want it hot, like I want it hotter. That's right, today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're gonna talk about how to order pickups. My name is Dylan and this is Dylan Talks Tone. You know, on this channel we have over 400 videos all about guitar tone, guitar tech, and you know that my thing, if you've been following this channel for a while, if you haven't, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it, because I think you're gonna dig some stuff here. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I'm a pickup guy, right? Like my, my real job is I make guitar pickups. And so this is something that I've never actually made a video about, like how to order guitar pickups. So let's break down a few of the things that we just heard, because these are real things that I hear every day when I get phone calls and emails and Facebook messages and YouTube messages into uh, DylanTalksTone.com ordering pickups. And so let's talk about really how to do this. I'm looking to sound more like Slash, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Van Halen, uh, David Gilmore, Jimmy Page, Robin Ford, Nickelback. It seems like the most, the, the most common thing I hear is that somebody wants to sound like somebody. Right, so they've got their favorite guitar idol or their childhood guitar hero that they've liked for many, many years and they wanna sound like that person. Uh, the trick there is that many times there are other things other than just the pickups that build that sound. And so just buying a set of pickups won't necessarily get you there. And what we have to do is dive deeper into what you're really looking for and figure out how much of a part the pickups play in that particular sound and what we can do to help help get you there. What I mean by that is guitar effects, amp choice, and all those sorts of things many times have way more to do with that particular guitar hero sound than the pickups themselves. Many times when you look back at some of the names that we mentioned in our little intro there, a lot of times they're just playing normal stuff and a lot of the stuff is either A, their technique, or B, the actual things they add after that and build their entire rig as a package to get to that sound. Let's talk about a couple of the terms that I hear all the time when people call and order pickups. This term overwound is really, really a funny one. Overwound in relation to what? That's the main question. Are we talking about with a humbucker overwound in relation to a early PAF? Are we talking about in a single coil overwound in relation to a 50s Telecaster pickup, a 60s Telecaster pickup, a 70s Telecaster pickup, all made just a little bit differently? Are we talking about overwound in relation to the pickups that are already in your guitar? Many times when you're replacing the pickups that are in the guitar already, they're actually way hotter than you realize. Like if you've got a lower priced guitar with humbuckers in it or single coils in it. Many times they're using ceramic magnets and they're overwinding those pickups to compensate for various sounds. And so that term overwound is really tough because what we're doing is we're picking an imaginary number out of the air and trying to figure out exactly what we're shooting for and then trying to pick another imaginary number out of the air and trying to hit that number. All the while trying to pick out this sound from this guitar hero that we're trying to mimic. You see how confusing this can be for not only you as a player but also the person that you're trying to talk to about getting pickups and trying to get you to your goal of the tone that you're looking for. Let's talk about spec. Because the other thing that I hear all the time is, I want it hotter. How many K is it? Let's split those two up. Let's deal first with, I want it hotter. This is kind of similar to, I want it overwound. Hotter compared to what? What's in the guitar now? How does it sound? What are we looking for? Are we looking for more magnet? Are we looking for more coil length, which we're gonna get to in a minute? Those are all questions that we need to ask. That question, I want it hotter, isn't always what you're actually looking for. Do you want it to hit the amp harder? Do you want it louder? 
Do you want more highs out of it? What specifically do you want hotter about that pickup? Because a lot of times if I just make a pickup hotter, it takes away some sound because of how pickups work. It takes away some frequencies that were there in the first place and doesn't give you the result you thought you might have been looking for. So let's talk about how many K is it? This is a big deal because many, many, many websites use the DC resistance, okay? How many, how many K is the pickup? So the DC resistance as they're basically their only reference point and maybe magnet strength uh, as to how a pickup is going to sound. I wanna show you something. Let's go out to the shop. All right, so we're out in the shop. I wanna show you something about K of a pickup. The reason we usually measure the DC resistance of a pickup is because typically people think that the higher the number of the DC resistance, the hotter the pickup is. And that's typically true. Usually there is more output, like the pickup will be louder. Problem is, is that as the pickup has a higher DC resistance, some of those frequencies get stripped out and the pickup sounds different. The interesting part is, is that the DC resistance of a pickup is only a measurement of how much wire is on the coil. And this can vary or be misleading based on a couple of factors. This roll of wire right here and this roll of wire right here can be put onto a coil to the same DC resistance, but because they are different gauges, the pickup will sound completely different because this is 42 gauge wire and this is 43 gauge wire. These two humbuckers sound completely different, even though they are the same DC resistance, but they have different magnets in them. Understanding the difference between those various facets of how a pickup is put together can really, really do a lot to help you to figure out what tone you're looking for and what sound that pickup is actually gonna make. And you can get really nerdy about this, or you can just have a really good conversation with it, with somebody about it. I'm gonna show you another experiment. I'm gonna show you something really fun. DC resistance also can be a little bit misleading because let's say you order this tally pickup right here from me and I told you that it was X amount of resistance and you got it home and you measured it and it was different. Well, I'm gonna show you something kind of fun. I've got an air conditioner over here. This is my shop air conditioner. And we're gonna measure this pickup together and then we're gonna cool it down. And this is gonna be kind of interesting. I'm gonna, let's do this. All right, so if we measure this pickup, we got 6.69. 6.7 is what I was really going for. All right, we're gonna go ahead and place this right here on the air conditioner, and we're gonna let it sit there. Oh, let's give it 10 minutes or so. Here, let's go ahead and look at what this thing is now. 6.28, so we've come down 500 ohms pretty much. So it's kind of crazy that the variation in temperature can change the reading of a pickup anyway. Again, this goes all back to just having a meaningful conversation with the person that you're ordering pickups from. So now to completely disrupt everything you've ever heard on the internet, let's think about this a different way. Let's talk about what we really should be looking for when we call somebody or email somebody or send somebody a message about the kind of pickups that they're looking for for their guitar. Here's some questions that I personally like to ask. And so this is information you can think about ahead of time before calling somebody and asking for new pickups. First of all, I like to ask, what kind of music do you like to play? Not just your heroes, but what kind of music do you actually like to play? How do you use your rig? What kind of amp do you play through? What effects do you use? And when you have your effects on, which ones are on all the time? Do you use a compressor all the time? Do you use a boost all the time? What are you looking for? More clarity? Uh, more mid-range? Less clarity. Maybe the pickup that you have is, is razor blade sharp and you want to soften that up a little bit. You want it to be more adjustable at the guitar. Do you use your neck pickup all the time? Do you use your bridge pickup all the time? Do you use it in the middle? Uh, because the interaction between the two pickups can be a lot of fun. Are you looking for just one sound and uh, you just, you just want to hit that sound? Or are you looking to expand your toolbox, you know, your playable palette, like the available tones that you have in your guitar, try to explore a little bit more. These are all questions that a conversation about your needs can expose the answers to. 
And what you may find is that you'll end up in a completely different place than when you started because you thought I want an overwound pickup that is so many K and this is blah, 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 like those specs because that's what you heard on the internet when in reality, because of all the gear that you already have and the way you play and the kind of sound that you want, it's possible that you may end up in a different place. Now here's another thing that I want you to think about briefly. Building a, a relationship and understanding kind of everything surrounding the pickup builder that you choose, a lot of times will do a lot for understanding what the questions he's asking and what he's looking for. Is he looking for you to find the tone that you are looking for or is he just trying to sell you a product? There's two different things there. Also, how flexible is this guy or gal to make you something that you actually want. So let's say uh, you go to a website and they've got three or four models there and you say, well, I'm looking for X, Y, Z sound and you have this whole conversation and that pickup builder says, you know, I don't really make anything like that, click. Or does he say, you know, I don't really have anything like that on the website, however, what I would like to do is we do this, this, and this, and this, and I think I can get you there. So that sort of conversation, in my opinion, is something that needs to be had almost with every customer. That's super key. If you have any questions like this or anything to do with guitar pickups, guitar tone, guitar sound, the difference between pickups, how it all works, do me a favor and put it in the comments below and maybe we'll make a video just for you. Subscribe to this channel because we do a lot of stuff surrounding this stuff. Hit the little bell next to the little subscribe button and that way you'll know the next time we make a cool video just like this one.